The Major Arena Soccer League is set to play its first game since March. The league all-star game is tomorrow to start off the 2020-2021 year. Here's what Utica City FC All-Stars had to say about this different kind of game in a different kind of year. Major Arena Soccer League All-Star Nate Bordeaux took a 6 a.m. flight this morning from Syracuse to Kansas City. The Baldwinsville High School graduate and former Section 3 All-Star is representing Utica City FC in the league's first All-Star game in 15 years. Personally, to be recognized, I think, is it's a huge honor um, to be able to play with some players I've been in the league with for years and some close friends from teams and I'm just excited to, to get back on the field. Teammates Darren Toby and James Tagba are also all-stars. Bardo says they had to have negative COVID tests this week and were tested again upon arrival in KC. From there, he says travel, training, and meals are already planned out. It's pretty structured and it's pretty um, laid out for us, so we shouldn't make any mistakes. It's more of a business trip, you know, with, with everything that's going on, you have to be very organized. I just want them to go out there and have fun. Uh, most partly have fun, but don't get hurt, you know, before our season. So just go out there, enjoy it, uh, come home good free and, and have a good time. Utica City FC head coach Ryan Hall played on the team with Bordeaux and Toby before he became coach. He says they're deserving of the honor and he's excited about what this says about the depth of his club. One of our top players and voted MVP, Christian Segura, is not in the All-Star game. Obviously, he's down in Mexico, but you know, you could go down the list and you can literally just go right down our roster and, and you can flip flop any of these guys. You're going to be playing with some of the best players in the league, so the way I want to look at it is um, a confidence booster. Tomorrow's the first game in nine months for the league, and staff say it's a chance to prove that it's safe to play during a pandemic. It's 2020, and hey, let's kick off a season with an All-Star game. Paul says he's also looking forward to announcing some new player signings that UCFC's made recently. And he says he plans to watch the All-Star game tomorrow and even do an MASL kind of fantasy draft fantasy game with some other UCFC members while they watch. And hopefully, of course, he selects his own players, but we'll see.